Hello folks, the old deplorable basket case here. So I'm sorry I haven't been on for a while, just life has been, life has been crazy. Um, I'm make, trying to make a comic, um, dealing with crazy commissioners, my parents are going to Finland for Worldcon, just life has been full. Um, yes, okay, uh, book recommendations, history edition. I didn't actually intend to make this a history edition, uh, I just pulled a bunch of books off the wall that I thought were good, good to talk about, and then I realized they're all history books, so um, let's get on to it. First is Entebbe Rescue. Uh, 90 Minutes in Entebbe is better known, but um, I prefer this. It offers more details of the rescue uh, mission and events leading up to it and after it. And the writers uh, put a special focus on, in, in this book on lessons that the world can draw from the Entebbe Rescue. How we can deal with terrorism effectively. Really good book. I highly recommend it. Um, next is Assignment Rescue, an autobiography by Varian Fry. Uh, Varian Fry is actually very little known today. He was an American aid worker who went to Vichy, France during World War II, and he formed an underground organization to help people won by the Nazis escape. Um, he was not a good writer. I do not recommend this book for the pros, but um, I found it to be a fascinating book um, about a, a, a very little known place and time in history. So there's that. Um, next is The Champagne Spy by Wolfgang Lotz. Um, if you don't know who Wolfgang Lotz was, he was a spy, a very famous spy. He was a German Jew who emigrated to the British Mandate of Palestine in the 1930s. He served in the British Army, the Haganah, the IDF, and then he got uh, tapped by the Mossad to become a spy in Egypt. He masqueraded as, a, uh, as a, an ex-Nazi millionaire who he made best friends with all the top Egyptian generals, their foreign specialists they brought in to build rockets and guns and bombs and planes, it, it was a huge embarrassment when he turned out to be a spy. Um, what I found fascinating about this book was the, um, the, the, the view it gave into life in Egypt under Nasser. This was someone coming from outside of that society, living inside that society. So he could sort of look at it from both viewpoints. Um, Wolfgang Lotz uh, either was a much better writer than Varian Fry, or they hired a, a very good ghostwriter. Um, the prose is good, um, the, it, there are a lot of things he d does not give any detail on, because at the time he, time this was being written, Israel and Egypt were still at war, but, um, uh, very detailed overall. Um, highly recommend it. Uh, let's see, fourth is Warfile from Panther. Now, this book is a collection of news reports, radio broadcasts, official statements, and intercepted great, uh, t uh, telephone calls about the Six-Day War in 1967, which is the war that uh, Wolfgang Lotz was helping to prepare for, and then he got caught just before the war started. Um, it, this book is... It, it, it's not a story. It's, it doesn't tell a coherent... Well, what's the word? There isn't a coherent narrative. What there, what there are, are um, different, uh, what's the word, sections about um, things that happened leading up to the war, things that happened in the war, and the aftermath. Um, fascinating book. I highly recommend it. Um, I wouldn't be talking about things I didn't highly recommend. I don't want to keep saying that. Uh, last, last is, and this was a very lucky find for me. Three Corvettes by Nicholas Montserrat. I don't... I, I think... Pretty sure it's not in print anymore. Um, Nicholas Montserrat was a writer. He was a professional writer in the 1930s. Um, and then when World War II started, he joined the Royal Navy. And so he wrote about his experiences f uh, on Corvettes in the Royal Navy while the war was going on. So this was a professional writer writing about the Battle of the Atlantic while he was in the middle of the Battle of the Atlantic. 
you will you will probably never find a a better store a better book to tell you what it was actually like. Fascinating read, great writing. Um, just based on this book, I went looking for others from for Nicholas Montserrat. I've never been disappointed by his work. Um, that that's all. Um, well, hang on. Yes, there is one more. It's not a history book. I actually uh, just picked this up very recently. I haven't actually finished reading it. I, it's uh, The Yogi and the Commissar by Arthur Kessler. Again, I don't know if this is still in print. Probably not. Arthur Kessler was a German communist who managed to escape the Nazis. And... He carried on being a communist, an international communist, in France, then in Spain during the Civil War. And then he got better. He learned, he had what another, what another writer referred to as a Kronstadt moment. He, he un finally came to understand that communism doesn't care about people. And so he became um, a very famous critic of communism. Um, he did not become a fascist, he became a, a Democrat, which is a, is a great thing to be. Um, I don't mean a Democrat as in a member of the US, United States Democratic Party. Um, so this book is a collection of his essays and writings and stories talking about um, people and philosophy and how people think and how people act and the course of history and how people's psychology affects history. It's um, I'm not talking very well, am I? It's a, it's a fascinating read. I found it to be a very enjoyable read. I, I think you will too, unless you're a communist. Um, and that's really all. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll try to remember to put the, the, the titles of the books and their authors in the comment section below. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and God bless.